What's up you money makers and HCMC army welcome back to the channel we have seen some uptick in HCMC price point not only we went from 0 to 0 0.0001 but we saw the trade up to the two levels so write down in the comment section below any of you were able to successfully sell the stock at the two levels now if you bought the stock around 0.0005 or one and if you sell it at two it's hundred percent or maybe more than 100 percent profit so congratulations for making it happen for yourself i'll be covering a couple of things in this particular video because i've seen some i've noticed some kpi changes in terms of the volume so we'll be talking about the volume and we will also be talking about what is going on with the HCMC stock price. Many of you asked me why they did not release the Q4 earnings for 2022 just yet. I will share more details because I do not really have any answer to that. However, what I can share with you is what HCMC is doing as a company because this is something what I found into their presentation that they recently presented into their investor uh, management meetings and will be also reviewing the stock, the company, what they're up to, what is going on, what is the latest uh, press release and how much money company has cash on hand and what is company is all about because there might be a silver lining for this particular stock. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, nor I'm a certified professional, but not just me, but 84,000 plus more people are looking into HCMC. If you take a look at stock tweets, there are 84,515 people or watchers on this particular ticker symbol. So there is, there could be a lot of momentum. Now, there in general, the stock market is down. So you and I, we can't really blame just HCMC because all the small cap stocks are down as well. What I want to ask you is hit the like button. There are so many people who may or may not like this stock because there's a ton of FUD going on, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So do your part. If you are still a CMC follower, all I ask you is to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so we can share this information, this research and analysis with more and more people. Without further delay, let me talk to you about HCMC. So we saw that on the last trading session, we hit a zero multiple times. We went to one. Not only that, from one, we went to 0 0.00015 and we finally hit 0 0.0002. And we saw multiple trades. So it's not just one spike and just got back to one. The important thing also is we were closed at the one level. Now, if you think about HCMC as a stock, you can notice that year over year change. So here you can see September 2022, their revenue was up 76% and change. And the revenue was $5.78 million. Before that, the revenue was $6.13 million. Now, you want to understand that there was some uh, impact from the pandemic that we have seen. Also, the company usually has slower quarter in Q4 as well. So you want to consider that as well. In Q1, they did $5.05 million. And in December 2021, they did $3.20 million. So the last year, 2022, was all about the revenue above and beyond $5 million quarter or quarter. So take a look, $5 million plus. Again, $6 million plus in September. It was close to $6 million, but $5.78 million. With the operating expense, which is killing them, $3.99 million. So they had expense of almost $4 million US dollars that they put them into negative cash income of $2.07 million, which is what killing its CMC as a company. Once they figure it out, how to bring their operating expense ridiculously down, their net income will skyrocket. So think about it. Instead of 3.99 million, if they had the operating expense of 2 million, they will be breaking even. They, they can break even. So March, 1.32 million negative with the operating income of 3.33 million. Now, what I noticed in general for HCMC, take a look right here. Average volume, 263 million. And the volume on a trading session shows 1.4 billion. Now we have seen for this particular stock, the volume as high as 40 billion before many months ago, when there was a lot of buzz about HCMC, many people were looking into HCMC so closely on a daily basis. 
But we have seen that uptick on March 3rd. On March 3rd, our volume was 2.14 billion. Now that's pretty exciting. We went from zero to one and we were trading between one and one level. However, we went to zero a few times as you already know. After that, our volume dropped below a billion to 988 million. On the next day, March 7, the volume was 515 million, which is half a billion. Again, we spiked up on March 9th, the volume was 701 million. And again, when we hit two level right here, our volume was 383 million, which got back or above to the previous levels that we had seen in terms of the volume in February. Now, one thing that you also want to notice is what is HCMC? what the company is doing because I told you the repeatedly that they are they are going above and beyond in terms of the revenue. So if you take a look at the revenue, 81% up in the quarter two, 2022 in quarter three, they did 76% up year over year change as you can see on this particular portal. But a company announced this and they shared this information with the shareholders and investors. Now companies annualized projected revenue, $60 million. And in my understanding, this is the projected for 2023 this could be very well correct and beyond if they, if they don't hit this in 2023 my hunch is by mid 2024 they'll be hitting this numbers or exceeding this, this numbers now there are a few things in the mix because they are doing the spin-off with hcwc the healthier choices management corp is going to do the spin-off get uplisted on nysc stock exchange as i shared with you but all in all the business remains the same if it goes from hcmc to hc WC. So if you are an investor or shareholders, a shareholder in HCMC, you really want to watch this video. More importantly than that, hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I've been sharing some of the very juicy, very interesting personal finance stock and many other passive income videos on my channel and help me, motivate me and write down in the comment section below if you were able to sell the stock at the two level. Company has liquid cash and reserve of of approximately 13 million dollars now relatively if you take a look when they announced their earnings in q3 2022 on audited cash and cash equivalent that they had was 30 million other current asset 4 million total current asset 34.1 million so the company has enough cash on hand if they keep burning the, the way that they burn the cash two million dollars if they keep burning they can go all the way up to 15 to 20 months without even raising a single penny or by that time my hunch is they'll be very profitable company will be running on their own from their own profit so on and so forth so again annualized projected revenue 60 million dollars company has liquid reserve 13 million when the when this particular presentation was written by the company company's additional restricted cash 13.25 million i talked to you about this the investor cash pool that they are raising the cash from the investors so watch my previous videos if you haven't already i'll share more details in this video as well total excess of 26 million dollars in the balance sheet as i showed you already close 30 million company market cap is approximately 51 million dollars when the, the stock price was 0 0.0002 and about now 14 brick and mortar uh, natural and organic health and food grocery stores three healthy choices wellness centers now the company also has some of the licensing deals and they are expanding their a footprint into Mother's Earth, ADA's Natural Market, the Green Natural Food, so on and so forth. Online stores, including the Vitamin Stores and the QCup.com. And Patent Suite, 16 issues patent. In the United States and Canada, which is where we have the biggest market in terms of the choices management, the higher, healthier, better wellness and the choices that the market has available. So take it once again with grain of salt. Many people ask me what HCMC has uh, has uh, unique and exceptional that they can put them ahead of other companies. Now, HCMC, one of the unique factors that you want to know is there is so much popularity into the company. The company is very popular. Many people, more than 400,000 shareholders that the company had um, back in the days when there was a short sell frenzy, if you may. And right now, there are more than 84,000 uh, watchers on stock tweets, which is once again a pretty healthy sign in my opinion. Write down in the comment section below if you think that's the case as well. The last thing I wanted to mention is the, their patent suite. We can't really put the number on their patent. So how much money the patent costs, I don't know. Because 
the patent will need to go into an application. They will need to sell more and more product. They'll need to have some sort of royalty and or the licensing deal before they can start making money. So we don't really know. Now, when they had the patent lawsuit, patent infringement lawsuit with Philip Morris, we knew that, we all know that it did not really work out. But guess what? If it did, that would be a billion dollar change for the company. So it's a game changer. So again, we can't really put the number behind any of this patent. So all in all, what you want to know is the company has a lot of potential to grow a band beyond 14 brick and mortar store. They have online presence as well. Again, I told you there is a lot of fan following for this company, approximately $3 million that they, $13 million, not $3 million that they have in cash reserve. New company is commitment for the natural, from their institutional investors, to bring in $13.25 million. And this new company, I told you already, HCWC, the ticker symbol HCWC, the Wellness Corp, Healthier Choices Wellness Corp instead of Healthier Choices Management Corp. And they will be listing on NYSC, one of the national stock exchange that we all have been working or we all have been waiting for a long period of time. Now, this is a pretty, um, pretty recent post. I wanted to tell you 2023, March 11. So there is nothing really old. So just, uh, just take it with a grain of salt once again, because you and I, we don't really know, but you want to consider all this if you still own HCMC. Now, the new company is expected, so this HCWC is expected to be cash flow positive upon listing. Now, this is pretty exciting that the new company, HCWC, will be cash flow positive. They can, they can do, they can go 100%, 200%, 300%, we don't really know. So, but existing HCMC shareholders will be getting dividend. It'll be at no cost. The stocks will be assigned to them as long as their dividend is more than $10 total in um, in the exchange, they'll be getting all this stack stocks and we don't know the price as well. So we can't really predict how many stocks we'll be getting if you already own HCMC. So this is what I want to share with you. On the top of that, one thing I also wanted to mention is the company's status on OTC markets. As you see right here, it's still pink current. So pink current, so that looks pretty good. If you take a look at Healthier Choice Management Corp that they announced the confidential submission of the registration statement for the spin-off of its natural food and grocery and wellness business. Now, what this means is this is the new company that I've been referring to you. Now, their CEO mentioned they had to say that they're pleased to have this confidential submitted, uh, this particularly confidentially submitted draft registration statement for the spin-off. Now, this which will we believe that will unlock the unrealized value of what we are now calling HCWC. Now, this filing is another milestone for HCMC in attempt to create shareholder value as previously disclosed and we intend to distribute 100% of the initially issued common stock in HCWC to our shareholders in the form of dividends subject to certain minimum criteria. And that criteria I already told you is $10 minimum. They concluded and continue with separating the natural food and wellness asset in the form of the brick and mortar stores and wellness centers as well as we online entity as the vitaminstore.com will create the immediate value for the shareholders. They concluded with the company is extremely pleased to continue growing and execute on the four point plan which we released in August 2022. Now, you may have questioned what the plan means. The plan is right here. Buyback of the common stock, which is up to $5 million that the company has planned. Again, don't get confused between $5 million and 5 million stocks. They have set aside the buyback plan for 5 million US dollars. That could be in smaller chunk. It could be in once for all. So in one transaction, we don't know when and how it will be concluded or executed. Second thing is the subsidiary spin-off. As I already told you, HCWC is our subsidiary spin-off. The third one is the stock dividend. I told you that more than $10 dividend, if anyone, any shareholders is eligible for, they'll be getting free stock of HCWC. Lastly, equity capital raise that the company has already done, $13.25 million. So that's what they're talking about. That's what I wanted to share with you real quick. And the spin-off is intended to be the structure as tax-free. Pro rate a distribution, as the company says, again, I'm not a financial advisor, nor I'm a certified professional, but it seems the shareholders of the record date to be determined, the board of directors of HCMC. So one needs to make sure that they are the official owner of HCMC stock on a record date. 
upon the spin-off, uh, once it's completed, it seems the uh, stockholder as the record date of the separation would receive the initially issued common stock of HCWC. HCWC is intended to apply for the listing on NYSC American Exchange, which is once again a national stock exchange compared to the OTC market that HCMC is trading right now. Uh, OTC market, they don't really have a lot of eyeballs. Once you go on NYSC or NASDAQ or Dow Jones, you have bigger audience, more eyeballs, more activities for the small cap companies, small cap stocks. It is really, really super, super exciting because it will open up the larger trade pool and many people can buy this. As you already know, not every platform offers HCMC to buy and sell. In other words, trading is not offered on every single platform. Now, once again, after the completion of the potential spin-off re remains subject to the various conditions and the spin-off is expected to be completed on the first half of 2023. We're already in March, so think about within the next couple of months or three, you can see that HCWC is listed on NYSC. We have not heard from HCMC after February 14th once they announced their spin-off. We all are waiting for how much cash company has, what is their financial looks like, what is up, what is next, what is the revenue for Q4, what is the revenue for Q1, but we don't know that we are eagerly looking forward to know. All we know is at the end of Q2, the company has 34.1 million dollars in cash, company had 28.5 million dollars in cash at the end of 2021, which is December. They have strong follower base with 84,515 watchers on stock tweets and the company in general is looking pretty good. And many people ask me this question, so here I am sharing all this information with you. If you still follow HCMC, give me a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe and motivate me. And also write down in the comment section below if you're able to buy at one level or you're able to sell the stock at two level. Thanks for watching. I wish you all the best. See you again.